Okay, so here is walking in. Walk up the stairs here. The carpet is new. Really good shape. Everything looks okay in here. I think it needs a paint job. There's some, you know, where they removed pictures and some scuff marks. The banister could be repainted. But the carpet is new. Yeah, so th all this, this is just paint. So this all needs to be painted, just freshened up. Here is the living room. So it has nice high ceilings. And I just want to check the windows. <clears throat> like that needs to be painted. Um, trying to tell if these are single or double pane windows. I think they're actually single pane. So maybe at some point in the future you got, well, maybe they are double paned. It's hard to tell. I honestly, I think it is just single pane. Nope, it's double. So anyway, at some point, you guys could replace the windows. They look like they're in good shape for now, though. Um, this is a gas starter wood burning. The other thing is replacing these windows is going to give you a little bit more soundproofing from the road. I don't know how much of an issue that is for you. You can definitely hear it, so I want to be clear about that. Again, I think that just some paint, you need some paint in here. That's elbow grease. And then you have these double doors that come out into what appears to be the dining room. It has these big windows that go to the backyard. I think just some caulk and some paint and you're going to be in better shape but like I do think these windows at some point in the very near future should be you know within the next five seven years should be replaced again for noise and um, just simply for energy efficiency but it's not something that has to be done tomorrow this has wood floors. Again, it needs some paint in here. And this goes down into the basement. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here because I wanna make sure it's dry and that there's no weird smells. Okay. So this is good storage for now, but also really great in the future to build out for extra space. Under storage there, there's screens right there. So probably wanna put those back on. And my understanding is they did some waterproofing down here, which was on the seller's disclosure. Um, don't know what this cracking means, if anything. I don't know if it's standard settlement, but it seems like there's water spots around it. So I don't know if that is something that was addressed or it's a concern so 
So I'm actually gonna send that to, if you guys like this house, I'm gonna send it over to my inspector and just see if he can give an opinion about this. Cause it leads out to the door here. So it looks like there's a water shut off maybe here. There's some water around it. I don't know if it's just from, if it's from a leak, I don't know. Um, I did ask the agent about inspection um, for the previous contract and she said they did not share anything with her. So I don't know anything about that. Let's see. I will say, it smells like a typical basement. There's nothing alarming in terms of smell down here. Um, I think this is this ledge here is all, I think, what they did to address the waterproofing. A little bit of water staining here. but it doesn't smell super wet down here. It just smells like a typical basement. Here's the backyard. Yeah, so it looks like, so here's a water spigot. Maybe there's some water standing here, which might attribute to what, that, what we saw inside there. Um, if that's just from full gutters maybe I'm not sure but it looks like you do have some standing water here which is ultimately going to sink, sink into there so I don't know if you could install a drain here the back needs to be pressure washed on the vinyl siding but it looks to be in good condition just needs to be cleaned and here's the backyard. Fenced in. And you have this area underneath, which you could turn into a screen and porch if you wanted. So it needs some yard work. It's been vacant, so no one's really maintaining the yard. Oh, it looks like they have a screen here that you can pull down. So I guess for some privacy. All right, we'll go back in. And go back up. Turn off all these lights. Yeah, so I don't smell anything major alarming, but I do have questions about those cracks in the floor, which I can help get answered, I think. All right. Need some paint. And into the kitchen. Here is where the refrigerator would go. So you've got the water line there. And here's the kitchen. You actually have a gas stove, which is awesome. Nice new microwave. New-ish dishwasher, but you know, the, that's stuff that can be replaced. You have laminate countertops. They're in good shape. Um, got a little chipping here, but Nothing major. They're all intact. And it looks like this is probably the pantry. Mm -hmm. And garage. So here's the garage space. There's your hot water tank. Electrical panel. 
And it's two separate doors and you do have the lifts here. It looks like there's a little water staining here. I don't know if that's active or old. Looks like it's dry. That's something an inspector can test with some thermal imaging just to make sure it's dry. It is extra, but to be certain, it might be worth the money. Powder room with some lovely flower wallpaper. And then this is your breakfast area. So you have a bar. And then washer and dryer go here. And go back around to the stairs and go check out the bedrooms. Got some damage here. So this all needs some caulk and paint. Same with up here, you need some paint. Looks like this is an office space, which can't count it as a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet. But if you guys needed to use it as a bedroom, you could put some chest of drawers in here and call it a day. Big windows. And then down the hallway. This is linen closet for storage. There's attic. Here's bedroom number one. Actually, a pretty large bedroom. Like you could fit a queen in here easily with nightstands. Put a little closet system in there. Need some paint. And then bedroom number two. A little bit smaller, but still a decent sized room. Closet system. This window looks out over to the side yard. Another linen closet. Kids' bathroom. Tiles all in good shape. Showers in good shape. You could live with this vanity for a while. Paint over this wallpaper or strip it down. Good to go. And then here's the primary bedroom. Primary closet. Looks like they have a system in here as well. Pretty big closet. And So here's the crack I was talking about. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that's just typical settling. Again, I think I will send this video to my inspector and see if he can give us an idea. Um, because there's also this, which is at the seams of the drywall, but why is it all the way down in combination with this? Okay, so, sorry, got sidetracked. So the bathroom is actually open. Just wanna point that out. 
probably something you could close in, but wanted to make sure I pointed that out. So you have a little bit of seam work coming apart here as well. Window out to the front. So the primary bedroom is on the front, but it's a really large bathroom. So you have a double vanity, you know, you have one over here with a little makeup space and then one over here, large soaker tub, toilet and separate walk-in shower. So I think from here, I have some questions from my inspector about that basement and the crack up here, but that's everything.